back to another video. In today's video, I am in the kitchen because I wanted to stand up and I need more space for this video. So, in today's video, we'll be talking about the kind of Nerf blasters I rock in a Nerf War. I wanted to make this, I don't really know why. When I thought about what video I wanted to make for today, I just kind of migrated to this. Um, yeah, that's it. So, let's just jump right into it. So, I rock two blasters in a Nerf War. Our first blaster is the Zombie Strike Flip Fury. I use this one because A, it is compact, well at least compact enough for me, and it holds a lot of ammo actually. So these are each six round cylinders. That's a total of 12 shots. And I switch between them with this little lever. Like that. It makes switching really easy. Um, if I were to use a magazine-fed blaster, I would have to remove the magazine, put a new magazine in, and then fire. This, I run out of ammo. Oh! Easy. I, before you know it, I'm firing again. Um, one of the reasons I like it is because it has two sling points, here and here. And I have carabiner and... Carabiner, sorry, doing it that way was really weird. Yeah, and I will sling it over my shoulder like this, and it kind of carries, it kind of sits like a messenger bag, so it's really comfy this way, except for this right here kind of digs in. I made this out of, like, rope. Uh, I plan on adding padding here so it's a little more comfortable, or maybe just getting an official sling, I don't know. But the fact that it has two sling points means I can carry it like a messenger bag kind of like a messenger bag, and it's, other than again this part, it's very comfortable. And it's not heavy. On to the second blaster. Hold on. There we go. I carry the Zombie Strike Side Strike. This thing comes with a holster that I can clip onto my belt, or my pants. It goes in like that. It is a single shot blaster. I will have to reload it every time I fire, but this guy is a backup, a secondary shot, kind of like the Jolt is supposed to be, except this guy is larger than a Jolt and has more power. I'm willing to make that trade-off for that extra power. Plus, it's small enough for me, and I actually really like the size. I'm very comfortable. Oh yeah, I kind of mastered do doing the twirl with this gun. It's like perfectly balanced for that. Um, as you can see on the clip, or the holster, it has these dart, this little dart holder right here. I don't actually hold darts in there. What I use that for is I attach a carabiner to it, which houses a pouch. Well, the carabiner is attached to a pouch, which houses all of my darts. Yes, this is all of the darts I have, but believe me, there's a lot more in here than you think. And that just sits on my belt, and I have, not only do I have all my darts, easily attached to my gun. I'm housing my gun, all my guns. Basically, I carry all of my ammo and all of my entire loadout on me at one time, which is really convenient for reloading. Now, the side strike doesn't actually have that much power compared to the Flip Fury or other blasters, but again, secondary, it's not really supposed to be all that powerful. So that is really all I will use. I like melee weapons, but unfortunately I haven't purchased a melee weapon yet. It'll probably be either a foam sword or an axe of some kind, because I just really like those, and I'm big into melee and short range. <laughs> anyway, I believe that is all I have to talk about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon, and peace out. Guys, and 